going to repeat last week's routines, but first, we must begin with warm-ups. Stretching allows for blood to circulate through your body more efficiently, especially reaching your muscles, leading to a speedy recovery. We will then work on our core, sweat it off during our lower body reps because we need those legs to toughen up and carry us to the finish line. Lastly, we'll focus on our arms and shoulders with push-ups. Okay, our first core exercise is gonna be the plank. Christian's gonna demonstrate a beginner's pose for this. Show him how it's done. So you can see his knees are down, his back is straight, his arms are fully engaged, and I'm gonna get down on the more advanced pose, which should be on all fours. We're gonna go for 30 seconds. You're engaging your core, your arms are tight. Three, two, one, let's go. Christian, how's it feeling? I can feel it. I'm turning my attention to my abs. They were starting to get a little weak. Keep that core engaged. Okay, so we're finishing up our 30 second plank. Three, two, one. And let's take a 30 second rest break. We're going to go into a uh, plank on your right side. Christian will show you one variation. Uh, bottom knee is down. That's supporting a lot of his body, but his core is still engaged. His other arm is firing. You can see it's centered right under this plane in his chest. And I'm going to do the full extension for 30 seconds, which is both legs out. My core is engaged. The big key is to um, hug in your glutes and we'll get going for 30 seconds, 30 seconds with me. Make sure you're breathing. Is Christian engaging his core? Yes, sir, I am. Good. Also feeling my shoulder already somewhat. Yes. You'll feel the pressure in your shoulder. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be with me. About 15 more seconds. Make sure you're breathing. Five. Four, three, two, one. And we're gonna come down for 30 seconds. Switch sides, bottom leg is down, supporting. Top leg is still firing. His glutes are firing, core is firing, and his arms are stacked, shoulders are straight. Christian has great form. All right, we're gonna be going for 30 seconds now. Super important, breathe through each pose. Make sure your glutes are engaged. We got 15 seconds left. <sighs> Christian, how are you feeling? I'm feeling good. I'm actually feeling this most in my left glute and my left shoulder. And we're off. Finishing up this plank series, 
just on all fours like we started. Christian's gonna start on all, on his all fours, knees down, arms engaged. And you're with me for 30 seconds. Make sure you're breathing through this. And take note of what, what needs work. This is always kind of a vulnerable position and I always feel, you know, my obliques, my sides. What can I engage? What can I continue to do on my off time? All right, we're coming down from five, four, three, two, one. And we're off. Start with our walking lunges forward. I'm going to have Christian show the form a little bit. So you can see that he's, his plane from his knee to his foot is directly stacked vertically. His butt should be engaged. So that's a lunge. That's our forward lunge. We're going to walk back and forth on both legs. We have eight on each side. Okay, let's do it. Right foot forward. Coming up, and then we're bouncing out. Left. And the hardest part is not coming into the pose, it's coming out and staying in your plane. Keeping on balance. Balance is the hardest part. If you're noticing that you are balanced or not, that's actually your clarity at work. Now, if you have a hard time being balanced, that's something you can try to be cool with. and you're breathing through all this. Whew. That was 16, eight on each side. We're going to go into our next exercise, which is the side lunge. So you can see he's stepping fully out into his plane. It's kind of like you're not just sitting down, you're pulling your hips back and sitting into that hamstring. So you can see his hamstring, I can feel, is definitely engaged. All right, now that Christian has shown us how it's done, we're going to do this together. We're going to go eight on our right side. Let's do this. Stepping out, coming back up. It's one. We can critique our form. Should be feeling it in your hip. I feel it in the front of my hip as well because it's opening things up. Always a good feeling. All right, we have two more. One more. All right, we're coming up. We're gonna come to this other side of the mat. We're gonna engage our left side. Side lunges, let's go. Remember, as deep as you feel as comfortable, you're sitting down and then coming back out, popping back out. Hardest part is coming out of that than it is squatting. You getting as tired as I'm good? I am tired. One more. That's it.
We're gonna get into 10 body squats, and I'm gonna have Christian show the proper technique. His knees are playing right above his toes, which is perfect form. His back is up, you can see his chest is wide. All right, let's do 10 together. Let's go. And we'll come back up. Nice and deep. You don't want to go too deep so your back caves in. You want to maintain that chest being bright and open. Open to me. Breathing through. One more. And that's it, we're out of it. Okay, we're coming out of rest into the last part of our lower body, which is our toes. I know it sounds weird, but it's a very important thing to focus on. So this is kind of an intermediate pose. So he has one foot down supporting the toes that he's raising up. And this should engage your calf, toes, the glute. Perfect, so that's our form. Christian demonstrated we're gonna get into 16 on each foot. Let's start with our right. and as slow a cadence as you'd like. This is not about speed, this is just about expanding from your toes up your calf to your glute, creating that extension. It might look easy, it's not. You're also working on your balance. Two more, last one. Perfect, other foot. These are great for pre or post run as well. Always good to engage the calf, get the toes working. If you wanna find a curb, you can create eccentric mobility, a little extra step. Two more, last one. Nicely done, guys. Come back down and we're gonna finish up with some upper body. So Christian's gonna show you option A, a little more of a beginner pose for a push-up. See his knees are down, his back is still straight, his arms are set perfectly, and his nose is all the way to the ground. That's a little advanced. You might just want to keep it to your arms are 90 degree, but Christian gets a little extra credit. And then I, this is a full push-up. You can just watch me quickly. I instead have my knees up. See if I'm getting down as far as Christian. Simple. Core engaged. Your thighs should be engaged. Your butt is engaged. It's full body. Awesome. Let's do 10 together. Option A, option B. Okay. All right. Two. Breathing. Not easy to breathe and talk. Halfway. Two more. All right.
do the exact same thing. Option A, option B, we have 10 more push-ups. Ready, go. Christian? I'm ready. All right, 10 to go. I'm gonna go all the way down this time. Ah, oh, a competitor. Yes. As fast or slow as you'd like. It's all about form. Halfway. Make sure you're breathing with me or... One more. My man. Did it. And that wraps our upper body. That wraps the strength for the week. Good job, everybody. You did your stillness today. We will see you again next time.